well today I'm here in Miami back from a couple of trips to the west coast I was in California I was in Denver also driving different cars and today we're here with our favorite Tesla Model 3 oh I just locked it I wanted to unlock it here it is and as you know range anxiety is one of the biggest thing that most uh, people who have never driven an electric car have and today we're going to show a product that will help to ease that uh, anxiety not only the actual range of a car in this case we have 173 miles left which is 66 percent of the battery and let's say let me turn the map here upside down and let's say that we today wanted to go from miami to key largo let's find out how long that takes i'm using my phone for that just to leave the map there key largo so there it is directions so it's 50 miles from here to key largo starting route to key largo head west on southwest 87th street then turn right onto southwest 59th avenue so one hour and 34 minutes 50 miles let's say that we will go there and come back we will still have enough battery to come back but a lot of people are always afraid of charging the car the phone even I, I see people who have like half of the battery like this level and they already run into charge it we don't really need to do that I mean ideally you should deplete your battery to like 10% or less and then recharge it to 80 or 85 percent that will be the ideal situation for not only phones but cars too but anyway for people who still are very afraid of losing charge or not finding where to charge the car let's see outside because i got a product that i think is going to solve a lot of uh, these problems so let's see what we got here i actually did the unboxing before but here it is shock flow 40 amp portable charging for EVs very simple instructions basically it tells you what's in the box this is the SAJ1772 connector to the car the control box and uh, the plug to go into the wall here are all the technical specifications tells you when the lights lit and all that so we'll take a look and again very very simple so the charger comes with this standard EV connector and again here are all the technical specifications so the most important thing here is that this connector doesn't fit into the Tesla outlet which is different as you can see so what we got here is an adapter and you just plug it in here and that's it now you have a Tesla connector what we're gonna see here is what we had previously installed in this house and let's go there now so here we have installed this charging station before and it was connected to this 240 volt outlet connected to the main box obviously and here are all the wires for this fixed charger so we're gonna do this we're gonna unplug it and bring the portable just to demonstrate how easy it is to put it, put it on So as you can see it's really easy you just uh, take the protector of the actual plug plug in into this 240 volt charger and here it is and we could be ready to charge our tesla so we're not gonna go all the way to key largo today but we're gonna drive around the block to go to another place where i have another 240 volt outlet and uh, test it there So let's pretend we're gonna drive all the way to Key Largo and use most of the battery available in this car. In 900 feet, at the roundabout, take the first exit onto Southwest 84th Street. And here we are. We arrive, quote unquote, to Key Largo to find a new charge. I actually turn the car around because in Tesla models the charger is on the driver's side on the back so let's go and look at it here it is 
and in this case in our quote-unquote key largo house we also have a fixed charger and here's our 240 volt outlet so let's uh, again connect the portable charger and we'll see how easy this is so here's our charger by the way even though it's a portable unit it has this bracket you can install it somewhere while you're not traveling with it you can use it at home too obviously as your permanent charger so here it is we plug it in and it's charging or it's ready to charge and actually has a pretty long cable and we are charging our car so here we are charging now the limit is 250 miles here are all the specifications from Tesla about how to charge the battery instructions we recommend keeping your charge limit at 100% and charging fully once a week so we're gonna do that right now and we're gonna come back later to see the final reading of this charging so it's 107 right now we're gonna lock the car and we'll come back in a couple hours to check on it So here we are 610 so that means that the car has been charging for five hours and three minutes we left it uh, let me see there it is let's see what's the state of charge now well here you go 250 miles complete charge that means that well i don't know exactly because this, these chargers that 40 amps they give you about 10 12 miles an hour obviously this process was completed before we came here because the car was already charged when uh, we came back so that's a really good demonstration of how well this uh, portable charger works this shock flow portable charger so we can take it off and we can go and put it back in its case back here and you can travel with this anywhere you go and again even though it's portable it has this brace that you can install when you have it in storage anywhere you are let's put the protector here so there it is and this tesla has this compartment underneath where we can store it and just take it with us and travel wherever we're going without worrying about finding or not a charging station we bring in our own so we are returning from our fictitious trip from Key Largo we're home mm -hmm.